Howdy, how y'all doing? This is George Fuller Trammer. I'm hoping you guys have a wonderful day. Today we're going to invite you to ride the rails here at Knoxbury Farm. So come join us on the Calico Railroad. The Calico Railroad here at Knoxbury Farm has been operating since January 1952 and is an authentic Denver and Rio Grande narrow gauge train that was used in the early 1900s. This beautiful green engine of the Ghost Town and Calico Railroad is a C19 280 wheel configuration consolidation steam locomotive. It is one of two locomotives associated with the GTNC Railroad. This one, the Green River, number 340, and the Red Cliff, number 41, which is under repair. This Ghost Town and Calico Railroad is a three foot narrow gauge Heretic Railroad attraction within Knoxbury Farm. The engines and most of the cars came from the Denver and Rio Grande Western Railroad and also the Rio Grande Southern Railroad. While boarding this attraction, get your cameras ready because this will be pure nostalgic excitement. The Calico train ride is 5 eighths of a mile round trip within the park. Once departing the depot, this attraction is about a 4 minute train ride on this wonderful decorated train and you'll see things such as the backside of your favorite attractions. As I'm pointing the directions we want to go, let's take a somewhat POV of this ride, or at least take this full ride trip and listen to some music and watch some action as we go on this circuit. All aboard, here we go. 1952 has been a daily operation ever since. Come on, come on, you've been drinking for a year. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 To the Calico Saloon, where you can pick up some pretty strong drinks and that famous non-alcoholic Calico Soda. <laughs> that was strong. Cutting along the rails, you'll be passing Charleston Circle, where you can find the entrance to the Calico Mine Run, a beloved attraction riding on an ore cart through a dimly lit tunnel of a working gold mine. One of my favorites. Looking to the right, we see the Calico Mine stage, where there's quite a few peanut shows that go on throughout the day. Stop and enjoy one of those, and you'll find yourself singing with Charlie Brown. As we pass by the boarding house, and for some reason a building called Meats, you will see the underbellies of the Pony Express roller coaster that gives you a ride through the Wild West like you've never done before. It is a fairly short roller coaster of only about 35 seconds. The riders and their horses covers 1,300 foot route that takes them past the rapids, Boot Hill, and the Calico Railroad, resulting in a runaway adventure is sure to leave the guests smiling ear to ear. The Pony Express is designed for families. You know, it does not have any versions or large drops. That could be boring. As we round this bend, by the western entrance, we are passing the Charles M. Schultz Theater, and we're heading straight for that Wheeler Dealer bumper cars, where you can grab your family and friends, to this fantastic fun of bumper to bumper traffic. You know, you can bump into people and you just might get spun out. You might not be aware, but this particular railroad, it boasts the highest crime rate of all of Orange County railroads because the notorious ghost bandits still hold up this particular train every day while it leaves the Calico Square Depot. Oh. 
Kelly get his hands in the air and he did. So, all right, on count of three. One, two, three, get your hands up. Okay, some of you did better in school than others. We're gonna try that one more time. Put your hands back down. All right. Now get them hands in the air. Now wave them around like you just don't care. All right, now get your hands in your pockets. All right, now pull out all your money and hand it over. Oh, oh my God. Don't even have money. You know, you were doing so well. I really I don't know. Man. You didn't say Simon Says even one time. I don't oh, think they're very good at that I game. I did mess up. I did. Yeah, that was our fault. You gotta be careful uh, wearing purple in this town. That's why I was sitting in the car. I can't think your voice is very easy. Is that a fight? Oh, yeah. We're not lucky that we're out. Boysenberry Terry. Hi, they're gonna make me look like something. And what did that chicken say? I don't want to be a pie. I don't want to be a pie either. I don't want to be a pie. To the right is the coaster rider. This is a family coaster that will have you clinging to the handrails as you ride the California coast on this 1,339 foot harrowing journey filled with hairpin turns, twists, and spins. Oh yes, that looks fun. Passing by the Sky Cabin and the Toss Supreme screen, they drop right in the background. You wonder what the accelerator ride will feel like as it rockets you from 0 to 82 miles per hour in 2.3 seconds. You know you will fly 205 feet straight up and then immediately hurl down 90 degrees. Whoa, is this a front row ride? I think not. The Supreme Screen transports the riders up 252 feet and then blasts them straight down in a gravity-defying speed of 50 miles per hour. This is less than three seconds. That allows you to experience that total weightlessness. And then when you hit the bottom, it bounces you back up, halfway at least. To the left is Fiesta Village with the roller coasters of Montezuma Revenge and the Jaguar. One of the roughest roller coasters I have ever ridden. A backbreaker. It shows its age. And we are now passing under the Silver Bullet, a premier inverted roller coaster where your feet dangle below the coaster as it pulls out the station. One of my favorite rides. And of course, as you look to the right, it is the Timber Mountain Ride. A water flume style ride that opened in 1969, and for trivia's sake, the actor John Wayne was its very first writer. As we creep back into the station and finish this must-do Calico Railroad trip here at Knoxbury Farm, I want to thank each one of you for joining this journey. If you're one of my subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. And for all of you, do me a favor and comment below. And if you have subscribed, please do so. 
hit that notification bell. Give me two thumbs up, because this is George, the Phyllis Rambler, ready to get on Ghost Rider, signing off.